What's up guys, welcome to Echo Productions, I'm Sauce Willby, and today we are breaking the number one rule of filmmaking and fixing it in post. So last week I released this video, and as you can see the shots look really good. They're nice, smooth, steady shots, and the video flows along quite nicely. But before I fix it in post, the video looks something like this. Now I did help myself out for this process by shooting at 60 FPS so I can slow it down and I would really recommend this if you're going to be shooting handheld. And yes, I shot this entire sequence handheld with a prime lens. So no stabilization in the lens and no in-body stabilization in my camera. And as you can imagine, even the steadiest hands make that look incredibly jittery. So if you can shoot in 60 FPS or higher, definitely do that. But enough of this, let's move on to how I actually fix it in post. So today I'll be using DaVinci Resolve since it's free and it does everything I need for this video. I usually use Adobe Premiere or HitFilm Pro, but I wanted something anyone could use today. So the first thing you do once you've imported your footage is to change the frame rate. If you shot in 60 FPS or higher, now is when you would switch that to 24 FPS. You can do this by right clicking on the clip in your media pool and selecting clip attributes. Then go up to frame rate and change that to 24 FPS. When you do this, DaVinci automatically slows down your footage. Now you can drag this clip onto your timeline and as you can see, it plays back nicely as buttery smooth slow motion. To delete the audio file, just right click on the clip and hit link clips. This will unlink your clips, and then you can just select the audio and hit delete. So as you can see, just slowing down our footage smoothed it out quite a bit, and it's much more bearable to watch now, but it's still pretty jittery. So I want to stabilize the footage. To do this, you need to switch to the color tab on the bottom. And as you can see, when you open it, there's a lot going on. But we just need the stabilizer today, so go to the bottom where the curves window is and click on the target looking icon, the tracker window. When you open it, you can see where it says window over here. Click on that and then choose the stabilizer from the drop down menu. Now, generally I like to leave it at this and just check and see how it turns out before I actually change anything. So from here, I'll hit stabilize and let the stabilizer do its magic. And as you can see, it worked perfectly this time, but sometimes you'll get this weird jitter, which can be fixed by going to the bottom of the stabilizer window and clicking on where it says perspective and change that to similarity. Then run the stabilizer again. And 99 times out of 100, this should fix all your problems. So that's basically it for fixing your bad footage in post, but I want to show you guys really quick how I color correct my footage in Resolve. Now bear in mind this isn't grading, just color correction. Now for this I'm going to be using a completely different clip. Here's one I shot with my drone the other day in the mountains. As you can see it's relatively flat since I shot in the ProTune picture profile. Now the first thing I want to do is adjust the luminance values. To do this I'm going to start by turning the saturation down to zero so I can deal with just the luminance. I'm going to start by using the curves and setting my black point on the curves, and then getting a little bit of contrast by pulling on the top. Then I want to add a subtle S-curve by pulling the shadows down a bit and the highlights up a bit to add a little bit more contrast again. Now I want to bring the saturation back up to 30 and then go to the RGB mixer page, this little circle thing, and pull the red, green, and blue values up. And because I don't like how blue the image looks overall, I'm going to go back to the curves and pull the blue channel down a little bit in both the shadows and the highlights. And that's basically it. To finish up my grading, I add a custom teal and orange LUT that I made that preserves the skin tones and greens very well. And then I tweak just a bit. But that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Echo Productions, I'm Saz Wilby, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>